How's it going everybody? Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. So guys, what's up and thanks for joining me today. I'm uh, doing your daily tarot card reading and this is going to be for Sunday, July 26th. Um, it's times like this I really wish I had an accent because all I can hear over and over in my head is that it's been a wild ride this week, but it's more like, ooh wee, it's been a wild ride and I know that was lame, but can somebody please with an accent, I don't know, record it and put it in the comments. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, a bit of a, a earth shaker this week for a lot of people. So I'm using a daily tarot, um, one of them anyway. I have a few and this one, let's see a card to describe the day for you guys. And I'm going to shut up and get into the reading already. Right? Am I right? Stop talking, Robin. Oh, King of Fire. I love this King of Fire. My other decks, I just feel like the King of Wands, the King of Fire just has this hectic energy and he's like, he can't stop, right? But here's the King of Fire. And he's taking a break and his heart is coming out to play. You know, there's something so beautiful and relaxed and open and generous about this card. And, you know, he's got that sort of, angelic halo around him so there could be somebody coming into your life today and of course um the fire sign aries leo sagittarius um and that's me i'm an aries so maybe i'm gonna help you out today but i'm really seeing somebody coming in and sort of extending their heart out to you and maybe help you out with any sort of i'm getting this weird word from spirit guides tumultuous tumultu I can't even say it it has so many syllables tumultuidity that's not a word but it's my spirit guides they actually print these words for me and I'm speaking them I'm going well everybody's just gonna think I'm insane if I say that but anyway it won't stop flashing in my brain if I don't so this card came out right away um something important to be mindful of you did have the five of air here and I saw the five of swords in one of your daily readings but this is such a different energy and it's so light and fluffy and being able to release things. And today is going to be a really good day for you guys to kiss the heat of the week before you goodbye. You know, it happened. It's over. It's done with. Um, it's probably going to leave an imprint on your heart for quite some time here. But I see a new connection coming in with somebody else. Again, could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius where they're going to be able to help you and you know maybe it's somebody that's been down the same road as you and they can sort of share um, their epic tales of woe and then make you feel lighter that's what I'm seeing here with the five of air which would be the five of swords and the five of swords it can really depict quite a battlefield in some decks but this one is like the ballet and you know everything's fine and you know I, that's why I love the good tarot because it's it's so beautiful and it just feels like there's so much resolution in this deck where nothing is impossible you know some of the decks are really dark like the witch's tarot man when you pull some of those cards you're like you know oh, ah. <laughs> but this deck is like <sighs> so anyway what to embrace to have the best day possible you guys eight of earth and beautiful it's like putting your feelers out there it's like you have dealy bobbers and you know just a really calming energy with the i want to say cello um you know and maybe listen to something that is very calming for you today whether it be music or if you like podcasts or you know do something really creative and get back in touch with who you are and then let your feelers go. And I call feelings feelers, you know. So there's something really sprouting within you here. Something really deep and and stunningly beautiful. And I really see that somebody's going to come in and walk this path with you here. With the King of Fire and just a release and welcoming in the next chapter. And it's just... I'm feeling so much love in these cards, you guys, and you really deserve it after the kind of tumultuous week that you guys had. So 
I hope you're able to take a breath today. And I'm going to pull one more card because it just feels so warm and loving. It feels like puppy love. Like, you know, how people see kittens and puppies and they're like, ooh, that's what I'm feeling in these cards. So, <laughs> oh, guys. All right. So we've got the laughing, smiling, happy Buddha here. And there is something really beautiful and energy coming in for you. And I'm actually feeling overwhelmed with emotion and sometimes I cry on camera, but I don't think I'm going to let today be one of those days. So I'm not going to do that, but I do feel like there is an overwhelming love and like abiding sense of caring for who you are and where you are. And I'm not sure where it's going to come in. It could be a physical person. It could be one of your ancestors from the other side of the veil. I think some of you could really be visited by the, um, the presence of a departed companion animal. So if you feel like that is happening, you guys, just embrace it and know that, you know, your ancestors do come to visit you and sort of stand around you in a circle when you're at your lowest point or, you know, when they're really proud of you too. And you could really change how you feel about things here. So I'm just seeing so much love and light in these cards, you guys. And I wanted to send that myself too. I'm always just... I love you guys so much and I mean it when I say that. It's not just a catchphrase, you know. I do love you guys and I want the best for you. And now I'm going to really stop blubbing. So I'm going to go and just wish you guys everything. Okay, so take care. <laughs> Bye.